Let's take three numbers. Let's say number A is 73, number B is 98, and number C is 703. Now, if it is asked to you that you have to tell the squares of each of them. So the square of 73, 73, the square of 98, and the square of, sorry, this is 703, the square of 703. You have to find the squares of these numbers. Now, 73 squared means 73 times 73, right? In this case, 98 times 98. Here also 703 times 703. Now, this is one way to calculate multiplication, right? To find the squares of these numbers, but there is a much simpler way to find the squares of these numbers because you have to save your time and you have to tell the answers quickly, especially in competitive examinations, you have to tell the answers very quickly. So why to go with this long route, right? And also what we are going to discuss here will be applicable in some other problems as well. So let's see that, you know, shorter way or quicker way to solve, uh, to find the squares of these numbers. This is 73 squared. Can we write this 73 as 70 plus 3? right 73 can be written as 70 plus 3 and therefore we have to find the square of this now okay we know that a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared we have discussed this with its proof in our earlier video so 70 plus 3 let's say that a is 70 and b is 3 from this formula this becomes 70 squared plus 2 times 70 times 3 that is 2 times a times b plus b squared means 3 squared. Now if you solve it 70 squared means what? This is 4900 right? 7 times 7 is 49 and since we have 1 0 Therefore, this here we get two zeros in the squares. And this becomes two times three is six times 70 is 420. 420. And this is nine. Now you can quickly add them. So this is 49, 4900 plus 429. And if you add it, you get nine, two, 9, 4, 13, and 5. So the answer is 5, 3, 2, 9. Can you see that? We can tell very quickly. And if we would use this one, it would take a lot of time. Now, here we have 98 squared. So this 98 can be written as 90 plus 8 squared. So from this 90 plus 8 squared, you get 90 squared plus 2 times 90 times 8 plus 8 squared. So here you get 8100. 9 times 9 is 81. And you have 1 0 here, so you get 2 0 in the square. Plus, this is 2 times 90 is 180. And Let's write it here, 180 times 8 plus 64. From here you get 8100 plus, this is 0, 8 times 8 is 64 and 64, 8 times 1 and 1440 plus 64. Now you can add them, this is 8100, right? And from here you get 1440 and this is 64. Simply add them. So you get 4. 6 plus 4 is 10. 4 plus 1, 5, 6, and 9. So the answer you get is 9604. Right? Let's take this one. That is 7, 703 squared. So 703 can be written as 700 plus 3. Right? And 
this is whole square. So let this 700 be A. So A squared means 700 squared plus 2 times 700 times 3 plus 3 square. So this from here you get 7 times 7 is 49. Since we have two zeros in the last in this number, so it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4. Then plus 2 times 3 is 6. From here you get 4200 plus 9. So from here you get 49000. Then this becomes plus 4209. And if you add them, then 49000 and 9, 0, 2, and 4. When you add them, you get 9, 0, 2, 4, 9, and 4. So your answer is 4,94,209. This is the answer for this one.